Did they create religion to try to trick the real God into like worshiping them or worshiping something that they want? Because um, I, I, don't know. I think every religion agrees with that. That okay, so there's 900 million religions, okay, and pretty much they all agree that every other religion was created to trick people into worshiping the enemy and we can see what what's going on is the empire is a war machine and the religion the shadow empire uses other methods so religion it isn't 100 percent part of the government but it it's like like they work together right like the shadow Empire works with the empire on the outside. That's how it works, right? And um, so it's like two separate empires, technically. There's the religion that like tries to instill in Roman times. It was more the same thing. You worship the the leader as the god, and um, you got killed if you didn't. And, and these days, really. If you say anything other than worshiping Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, it's not acceptable. And not worshiping Rudolph is not acceptable either, so it's the same thing. I mean, torture is worse than death. Death is like, you know, release uh, from hell. And torture is just making um, hell even worse. So the religions, Obviously, like, people are screwed in their head over that. Like, pretty much, like, as one of the seven things humans can talk about, they talk about TV, religion, they have, like, seven things they can talk about. They're programmed with real simple facts to uh, personality programming. Real easy to see uh, once I left my house and, like, forced myself to interact with them. But uh, it just seems that it's there to uh, try to trick people. And they even, um, I mean, obviously, most people think that. And even if you have the right religion, you know every other religion. That's what it's for. It's just there to trick and see. So everyone agrees with this. And uh, they have songs and they they have their religious songs and stuff. Um, heavy metal is just a different religion. And not all heavy metal is that. But uh, some of it is one call and some of it is the other call. So they even make songs like tricking the gods and stuff like that. And um, hell, I swelled up that day. I went to see that band. I swelled up like, really bad. Never seen that happen before. I was like, I, was, I felt like I was dying. I thought I was something else, but it, I was swelling up. I, I got something to eat from that place. And, uh, I, I knew, like, I see the signs and stuff. Like, I mean, the game is, like, being real open and honest about things when it shows me things that's going on in the world. Um, but the game allows them to force their way into my life and cause the problems, and I don't care. So bottoms up to a glass of poison to me the stronger it is the better you learn how to make poisons right you've obviously failed at that um, you know when the poisons aren't dissolved in the glass that's just the way it is I'm like okay so the game's gonna play it out that way like I'm entirely protected so I just I don't care um, why would I waste time caring for anyone if I have to live a life where I'm worried about people poisoning me then it just adds to the stack of lists, like why you, you never asked to be in this world, and why obviously I was forced by people who shouldn't have been allowed to uh, force me in this world. You know, but anyways, the religion thing, you know, it, you know it's obvious. I have to choose for a lot of things. It's obvious for those things, it's like a bounce often about child mutilation and stuff like that. It, 
and it is abuse and child abuse to its core to uh, uh, to teach your children the um, invisible glow-in-the-dark flying reindeer exist and are the gods and uh, you're gonna beat your children if they don't worship Rudolph flying invisible glow-in-the-dark reindeer that is like the that's like the lowest thing. I mean, that's an invention right there. That's some thought thinking stuff. I, mean, I don't think I can come up with something that beautiful if I wanted to mess up someone. They're just a, just you sit and lock them in a room, and you're like, until you tell me, invisible, invisible Bob over here is real. You're not allowed to leave the room, man. You know, in fact, I'm gonna ask you every 10 minutes if Invisible Bob is real, and if you say no, we're gonna slowly start removing pieces of your finger. You know, it's pretty much the story of Rudolph's Invisible Reindeer. It's a purpose to trick people, and to beat people into submission. And, uh, I don't know. Hell, I mean, I mean, because I think it's because uh, it, it might be possible that as the game evolves, like the humans can take their first step in evolution and they can learn or something. But um, I don't know. I just think they, I, you know, it's no one's fault in particular. I think, but you know, it's supposed to be. If I play along the storyline, you know, there's this problem and that problem. But um, I, I think the game's purposely, you know, limited. Like the game itself is limited. Uh, you know, not the, not just like uh, a person or there. Like the game itself can't display any video game can't display a high level of intelligence or interaction because, like, then like Ganon and Koopa King, like if they knew how to play themselves and do anything, they'd defeat Mario all the time. But. And so they have a sad pattern, this and that, and it, it can never evolve beyond that because it's not that, that way. And I'm trying to like figure out the rules, but I'm pretty sure uh, those rules are in place for the same reason. Um, it's in place in most video games, and some of them break the rules a little bit. And, and this world is actually like pretty low on uh, advancements and stuff like that. It's just high on. Uh, it's advanced, like, graphically, obviously. And, uh... The realism... I didn't interact with it. It only took me, like, a few days of interacting with the world to begin to see it. Once I, like, made the decision, like, hey, I'm going to do this. Interact with the world. Like, I, that's, like... I was already seeing it, but I... That's when I, like, instantly noticed it. And then I was... And to begin testing it. It's like, oh, well, that's why the, the Tooth Fairy exists because the game is like showing that it, it's like a limited investment. It's, uh, you know, they've moved on. Uh, the developers are gone. And, you know, he, development to some extent obviously um, can appear as if it's going on. But uh, I, I think for the most part, the development's probably over. And uh, it's, I'd like to, you know, I joke and I say, hey, it's a, a game's in alpha and stuff like that still, so, but it's probably not. I mean, it's probably not an alpha. It's probably a, just, um, that's the finish. I mean, you just finish it and you move on to something better. You don't like continually rebuild something. That, that's so flawed that's too. So it's like. But anyways, yo, it's my thoughts on that. And uh, I think the religion thing is a. Uh, there's a high chance that's just invented to like try to trick the gods theirself, and you know, like uh, you can erase their memory. I, I believe the purpose is. You have your memory right? so it feels real when you come into this. So, yeah. that, and so the uh, interaction, I agree with. but the, the realism to it seems real. Like, 